Hello everybody, this is Brother Ming and I'm here today to shoot a unboxing video for the last and final print run of Persona 5 The Fan Game. Uh, it is a 1-2 to two player, 30-60 uh, to 60 minute cooperative game uh, and it comes in a pretty small package that's pretty compact. This is the fifth time I'm doing a small batch print run of this game, but this time I think will be the last time because I printed um, more than all my previous print runs combined. Uh, so it was professionally printed and I don't have to individually uh, source all the components and hand assemble it before. Uh, there were some dice and I was even putting on the stickers myself. It comes with uh, all eight characters from Persona 5 that you can play as. Four different uh, palaces you can challenge with their bosses. A reference card that you put over the palace card as you progress through the game. And of course, a calendar tracker uh, to track the turns. The game is played over the course of 28 turns, and if you defeat the palace within 28 turns, you win. So inside the game box, you'll find two main wells here. Over here is a giant deck of cards starting off with uh, the different personas of the characters in the game. So any character can be paired with any persona you'd like, uh, but if you play as Joker uh, or Goro, if you like to do that, instead you start, uh, you don't use a preset list of abilities from a persona. Instead, you're going to be fighting and gathering uh, shadows and turning them into your persona to create your own custom list of abilities. Uh, and there are tons and tons of shadows to be fought and encountered throughout the game. They'll have different abilities, different stats, and different weaknesses. Uh, there we go. Focus. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> uh, there's also a deck of location cards that you can visit throughout the game. Uh, these are your five starting locations. Every game comes with these and these are the locations you can discover throughout the game uh, Each day you'll spend either visiting a location and uh, performing an action there or Fighting in the palace. There's a ton of different uh, Allies you can recruit as well your confidants and like I mentioned earlier if you are Playing as Joker, you can take Igor and Caroline and Justine, and they'll let you control the personas you get. So that's all the cards, which of which is quite a hefty deck. It fits nicely inside of this slot. And then there's quite a bit of tokens. You have resource tokens, you have your HP tokens, your bullet tokens and your SP tokens. Uh, HP in this game doesn't really work like health. You don't die, quote unquote, when we have zero HP. It's just another resource. You spend uh, these three resources in order to fight in the palace. There are Mona Bucks that you spend to uh, do various things throughout the game, like restore your resources, etc., etc. There's a bag of these six dice. These dice will be used for all of your ability score checks. You'll notice earlier that each character comes with different stats for their five different characteristics like knowledge and charm. Whenever you uh, take a test, for example, Goro here needs to take a charm check, you roll the number of dice based on that value. So you roll two of these dice and as long as one of them pop up as a uh, uh, phantom thief symbol, you pass the test. So the more dice you roll, the better your chances. Uh, you can increase the value of your character's characteristics throughout the game and you use these dice to keep track of that value. These are damage markers. You'll use these tokens to cover up any damage you've dealt to an enemy shadow. And you have these two chonky meeples to mark your player on the game board. You remember those different locations. You'll simply put this there to mark where you currently are, either in a palace or in the uh, on a location like school. So yeah, that's the whole game. It fits nice 
and tightly into this very compact box so it's travel friendly you can take it to a convention and your friend can play with it if you get two copies of the game you can combine it together to play in a three to four player mode that is a little bit longer uh it's a little bit janky as well but you know a lot of people have said they enjoy it uh the game was really designed for one to two players uh but yeah that's everything i hope you guys like it and uh goodbye